you guys. So today we are going to be doing the 90s inspired look. I've seen Aaliyah J. She did some black hair. She layered it and she did like the 90s type of bump. So I tried to redo her look. Um, I think I did an okay job and I did like a little makeup tutorial too, which is going to be like a part two of this video, which is going to be like 90s inspired makeup. Um, very beat, very glam. Get into it, get into it, get into it. Get into everything. I'm gonna put the, let me let y'all see what's going on. The hair. I didn't want to do too much. You know, I feel like this is very natural. You know, nowadays, everybody likes those long ass fucking inches. But like in the 90s, everybody used to like layer their hair like this, y'all. Literally. And get into the edges. I did over pluck over here and I bleached it a little bit too much, but you can't tell. It doesn't look too bad. This hair is from Labby Hair. It came out so cute. Y'all know I'm not a hairstylist, I just try. But it looks really good. I like how it looks. This hair came black. I did not have to dye the hair black. I did have to bleach the knots and I did like minor plucking. So far I'm loving it. Like I don't have any complaints about it. I don't like this little small ass. 13 by three lace front. It's not a 13 by four, they lied to me. This is much smaller than that. So before we jump into anything, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that like button, all right? Period, hit the like button. And make sure that you follow me on every social media at Maranja Door, right here on the screen. Make sure you follow me. I am going to be talking over during this tutorial. It is like a full install and I hope you guys enjoy. Once again, like I said, I received this hair from Lavi Hair. Um, this is 100% virgin hair. It was so beautiful when it came out. I did not have to dye this hair. It came like a 1B color already. It's 20 inches, 180% density, and it is a 13 by 4 Brazilian hair. I went ahead and bleached the knots off camera, and I also straightened this hair, so that's why it's just on the stand. This is straight hair. All right, so starting off, I'm gonna be starting off with my cap, my bald cap method. Um, I did this in another video, but if you all would like to see how I did it, go and watch that video, or I can do it on the next tutorial, but I didn't wanna to waste too much time. Um, so I went ahead and did that, and I put the makeup on the cap, and as you can see here, I'm just cutting off the extra cap, and I'm going around my hairline. So I'm just looking to see if the wig is going to fit on my head. Number one, this was a medium cap size, so I was, a little nervous but I seen that it would fit um pretty good and be super snug Woo lord why am I making these ugly faces y'all why am I making these ugly faces so now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the cap in three different places just so it will allow me a little bit more room to make mistakes and it's gonna also help me be able to install the wig even better and I'm just clipping the hair back so that I won't have any flyaways in the way Using my favorite glue by Erica J, the Hold Me Down glue. Y'all have to buy this. You have to buy it. And always make sure you clean around your cap before you install your wigs with a little alcohol. So that's what I'm using on this towel right now. So each time I do my first layer, I always do it a little thicker than the others. But I just go ahead and I go right around that cap, especially on your fresh new wig. Depending on how you like to lay yours, but I like mine to be right around my hairline so that it looks super natural. And any simple mistakes, you can just use that alcohol um, that you put on whatever you're using to clean off your head. So I'm just going in, rubbing in the glue. You want to make sure you use something that can make it as flat as possible and get it from different angles so that it won't be bulky in any areas. So going in with the second layer, I always do my other layers thinner than my first because I don't want the glue to be too built up and you don't want it to be too much glue. So I'm just going in um, little dots all around the forehead and I'm going to rub it in. But you guys, I love this glue by Erica J. You have to get it. It will hold your wig down. I'm so extra. It will hold your wig down and it will be melted for two weeks, honey. Like, boho don't do that no more. I'm sorry. Ghost Spun don't do it either. But I always do at least about four layers when I want my wig to lay down. This is just the second layer that I'm showing you all. Now 
Now it's time to melt this baby into the skin, honey. So what I'm going to do is just pull it forward. Um, this is why I tell you all to cut it in three sections so that you can lay each section at a time. And then if, you know, you need to put more glue on another section, it'll be easier to lift it and see what you need to work with. Do not just pull your wig forward and comb it into your skin. Don't do that. Cut the wig into three pieces. So right here, I'm just going around my hairline and pressing the wig right over um, where I want it to be. And we're just going to go ahead and melt it, honey. Let me, let me be quiet and just show y'all what's going on. So before cutting any of the lace off, I'm going to go ahead and use this elastic band that I got from the beauty supply store for just a dollar. And I'm just going to wrap it around and this is going to make sure your wig is held down. When I tell you it's going to make sure your wig is melted into the skin, that is what you want. That is the goal. It took me forever to tie this, but make sure you get an elastic band. I just started using it and I seen Aaliyah use it, so I had to get it, honey. Did y'all see? how quick that just flew off my freaking head but now i'm just gonna just get into the wig it is melted melted it is melted so using an eyebrow razor i'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the additional lace um i would recommend an eyebrow razor because it really helps to create that jagged edge on the wig you can use scissors but, honey, get the razor. It makes such a, it makes the perfect cut. That's all I'm going to say. It makes your wig look so much more natural. So when cutting the lace around your ears, I would recommend to cut at a diagonal angle. It'll make it so much easier. And just really take your time. Like, you don't want to cut off too much, and then you don't want to cut off not enough. You have your ear covered with hair. Like, just take your time around your ears. And then I'm just going to go ahead with my hot comb from Andy's. Um, I love this hot comb. You can get it from Target, Amazon, Walmart. It reaches up to 450 degrees and it is my favorite. It's the one that you plug in, y'all. Not the old ones that your grandmama used. But anyway, so I'm over here trying to get this part together. When I tell y'all I did not realize how thick this wig was in density, especially on the frontal. It took me forever to get this part straight. Like, y'all are going to see me fumbling with this freaking part. I had to hot comb it a little bit to see it a little better. And I even had to go in and pluck it a little bit more. But, um, yeah, this is a 13 by 4 wig. But this part was giving me very much 13 by 3. Using my favorite slick stick, I'm just going to go ahead and get all of those flyaways. This really helps to define any part or even just, you know, make the hair go in that direction and look super silky and smooth. So, I would recommend to... Get this wax stick, okay? It will not disappoint. On to the baby hair. So what I'm going to do now is really just take out some hair all over the perimeter of the wig. And y'all are going to see me. Um, make sure you clip your hair back just to make sure that you're not having too much hair in your way and the hair is falling everywhere. And I'm just going to take a little bit out around the perimeter. I don't really like super thick looking baby hairs. I like my baby hairs to look a little thin, a little natural. And I used to be someone that didn't like the baby hairs. Like I could just lay my wig and really just leave it. Like I really could just leave it. No baby hairs. I love the complete like super professional you know super sleek look um but for the 90s i think i just wanted to do some baby hairs that was just more of the vibe y'all know so just watch me i'm gonna shut up now like i told y'all i had to pluck that part a little bit more it was giving me thicky yana Using that same razor, I'm going to go ahead and just go at a diagonal angle with my baby hairs. I do this in like sections so that I don't cut too much. I don't like mine to be too long. 
and you really just want to get them to be like a cute little baby hair length something that you can maneuver with um, some people like them a little longer but I like mine pretty short Using my Nairobi um, Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion, I'm just going to go ahead with this mousse and put it all around the baby hairs. See, I would say, y'all, you really want to be careful and make sure your wig is melted before you start going in with your baby hairs because that mousse can make your wig lift. So you really want to do this super quick and I would recommend to do the, you know, lotion in sections rather than just putting it all on the hair like I did. But I'm super particular about my baby hairs and it didn't take me too, too long, but it normally takes me a minute to do some baby hairs, honey. I'm not the best, but I get it the best that I can, okay? So I laid the edges and I'm going to go ahead with this little wrap. It's just a regular paper wrap that you can get from the store. It comes with like a hundred. But this is super helpful in getting the additional glue and making sure your hair is laid. You want to make sure your edges are laid. And I would recommend to leave this on for at least about 30 minutes. And I'm also going to go ahead and put that elastic band on for extra security. And now it's time to cut the hair. I was so freaking nervous, y'all. So nervous. I'm going to be using this double sided razor, it's only $2 at the beauty supply store, one side for thick and one side for the thin. Um, Y'all, I was so freaking nervous, so I was just playing with the hair for a minute, making sure it was super straight. You always want to cut on straight hair, so what I did was, even though I already straightened it, I just went ahead with my flat iron and ran it through one more time to make sure everything was just as straight as possible so that I can get a really nice and even cut. And boom, here I go. I went straight in on the thick side and I literally just cut it at a diagonal angle, y'all. Let me shut up. I'm going to just show y'all and let y'all see how the process went. But I was a little nervous. I just had to go in and conquer my fears and get it done. So after using the thick side, I went ahead on the thinner side and I went um, and just went through and made sure those layers were how I wanted. You want it to be um, diagonally cut on the side and just flow super easy and down and give you that super 90s cute look. So on to the other side, honey, my confidence was way higher on this side, as you can tell, because I just started cutting and I went straight down. I did not care. <laughs> I did not care. So yeah, y'all just watch me cut on this side and let me hush. Am I talking too much? I don't really know, but hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Once again, we are on the road to 25K before my birthday, which is December 25th. I am not a 90s baby. I was born in 2000, but I still love the 90s so much. So I hope y'all are enjoying this Brandy background music. That is my girl. I am obsessed with Brandy and her first two albums. Really all of her music. I love her so much. But yeah, just watch me. Going in with my flat iron, I'm just going to slightly bump the ends of this hair inward towards me. That's how you really complete the look. Um, this was super easy and super fun. I think this is one of my favorites. Like, this is definitely going to be like a go-to look for me. It's so natural looking. I love it. And it makes the hair flow so freaking pretty.
it's just iconic, you know? Get into it. And boom, we are finished, you guys. This is the completed look. Um, I'm just going in with my comb to make sure the layers are not too bumped in. But I love this. Oh, my God. It was so cute when it was fresh. And this is definitely something that I'm going to continue to do. So this is the finished look with the hair. It's black press with the makeup i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up